No problem. But Stetson, I was just going to ask you about the second half. Obviously, the defense came out, kind of set the tone. And just from the offense perspective, how did y'all just kind of feed off of that to carry yourselves on to the victory today? Yeah, it was – I mean, the first half, I mean, you, you feel so bad uh, going in the halftime, getting stopped on a fourth and one in the, in the – uh, on the goal line and, and also spotting them the points that we spotted them. But I mean, they really didn't stop us the first half. I mean, we still scored 17 points um, and we just had to keep our head up. And that's what coach Munkin just reminded us. He was like, Hey man, like they hadn't stopped us yet. Like we just, we just have to go out there and, and keep that train rolling and not make the silly mistakes that we made in the first half. Jeff Tower. Uh, Move on to Mark Weiser, then, please. Hey, Stetson, uh, just your thoughts on, on uh, quarterback in the team against another uh, top 15 uh, opponent and, and winning. And also, I want to ask you about your, your touchdown run and I guess the run before that on the same drive. Um, I mean, Tennessee was a really good football team. They're physical. Um, they knew what their strengths and weaknesses were, and they, and they played to them. Um, they're were, they were a really good football team. Um, and then, the the first run was what play was that I can't remember um, I think it was just a scramble and and I got a good block from George on on that side and then the second play I guess Coach Munkin was feeling my legs and called a draw play and and uh, I made somebody miss the O line blocked it up well and I guess I got in the end zone I didn't I didn't know it was pretty close on the pylon but it's just just two back to back runs and I don't know got good blocks on the perimeter. Next, we'll go to Mike Griffith, followed by Paul Newberry. Yeah, Stetson, can you just talk about the chemistry that you and Kyrus Jackson had? Obviously, you guys came up big again today. Yeah, I mean, he just – he plays the game hard. Um, he gets open. Um, it's, it's easy to throw in the ball because, I mean, he catches it. Um, I don't go looking for him. I don't really go looking for anybody. Just – because I don't know, I just like to use everybody. But I mean, he's he's open and and he he catches my eye and and I trust him. So, uh, Stetson, uh, what's what is it about you guys in the second half? I think what well, this is now the second game you all trailed at halftime and uh, have won by more than twenty points. Uh, so obviously, something's clicking for you guys after halftime. Yeah, it's something we need to get fixed because. I mean, we got to get the first half fixed because, um, I mean, you don't want to be – yeah, you want to be known as a second-half team, but not if it's because the first half you played horrible. Um, I mean, we got to come into a game and we got to have clean practices throughout the week, um, come into the game prepared and ready and and just execute, execute and be more efficient in, in the first half. We'll next go to uh, Dean Leggy, followed by Seth Emerson. Stetson, I wanted to ask about that uh, snap that went over your head. How how high did it go over your head, and what were you thinking when it went, got behind you? High enough. I don't know. Um, but the ball was it, the ball was a little slick in the first like the first few drives because it was super humid. Um, and then I I tried to pick it up and I just mishandled it. Um, I don't know. That was a bad play. Stetton, uh, are you feeling more comfortable as the weeks go on and as you get more first team reps, or did you feel comfortable the minute you got in there at Arkansas? Um, I mean, I guess I'd, I'd say I'm more comfortable, but yeah, I felt comfortable the minute I got in there because, I mean, I've been throwing to these guys for I don't know, however many years still. Um, I mean, the offense is new and I hadn't been with the first team, but I mean, we still throw extra after practice and I know how they run routes. Um, and yeah. We'll next go to Chip Towers, followed by Brandon Sudge. Yeah, Stetson, uh, leave it to me to bring it up, but uh, there's a significant game next week with Alabama. Can you just wrap your head around that yet? And, uh, and, and a quick aside on that, um, were you hurt at all on that last play where you surged for the first down, uh, or was that an equipment situation? Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, I hadn't had time to look at Alabama because we had Tennessee coming up, and they're really good. But, I mean, it's exciting. I mean, anytime you get to play 
I mean, somebody you don't usually play. Yes, we usually have played them in, in Atlanta the past few years, but I mean, it's exciting, but it's just another game. Um, and then the, uh, yeah, the, the third down where I got it, um, that was just my, just my helmet came unbuckled and they just told me to go down and to, to uh, get that fixed. Hey, uh, Stetson, I, uh, so I actually want to get your perspective um, on the jumbo uh, package where they have uh, Jalen Carter at fullback and um, Jordan at tight end there. I mean, you kind of get some extra excitement when you see those guys coming in when you have that opportunity. Because I know that Jordan's like this jolly, happy type of guy, and then you're able to pass it to to Jalen on a – play action there just how exciting it yeah I mean anytime you can I mean we didn't get it in before the half unfortunately but um we tricked them on the on the next one they thought we were going straight down the middle and, and Jalen caught a touchdown pass that was pretty cool um but yeah I mean I trust those guys I mean uh I wouldn't want to be lined up as a six technique on Jordan or filling an iso block by Jalen but um those guys are big and, and they love it and 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 excited it's exciting to hand the ball off to Zamir behind those guys. Next question will go to Jake Rowe, followed by Augusta Stone. Listen, uh those first two drives coming out of the half, I mean you guys had some great field position there and uh kind of shot yourselves in the foot with uh with the penalties. Was there anything that, that any kind of rallying call after that point? Um to, to kind of get the focus back because, you know, those were potential, you know, momentum shift in place for you guys and, and you weren't able to capitalize on Right. Yeah, that was that was upsetting because we had just talked about it in the halftime and, and we do the same thing. But, no, I mean, rallying calls, there wasn't any. Uh, we just we just knew that we just keep playing our football and, and trust the guys around us and, and just execute better and be smarter. Um, but, no, there wasn't there wasn't anything. We just just had to keep chopping and, and – um, just go go play football how we know how to. Hey, Stetson, I kind of wanted to follow back up on being a second half team, especially, you know, after y'all don't get that touchdown on fourth down there right into halftime. How do you stay calm and how do you keep the team calm? You know, whenever things are buzzing and you're coming out, and you don't know what's going on. Just kind of how do y'all keep level and then come out and do what you do in the second half? I think it's just – it's just because we knew that they were beating us because of stuff that we had done. It wasn't anything that they had done. Um, we had just shot ourselves in the foot, and, and we knew that if we just cleaned it up, it was going to end up how it ended up. Um, and, yeah, it's frustrating that it, that it has to come to that, but hopefully we'll get that fixed in practice this week. Next question will go to Allison Mastrangelo with WSB, followed by Maria Martin with Channel 11. Hey, Stetson, uh, a little bit of a silly question, but I heard the uh, the guys come up and say the mailman delivers. Can you explain that nickname to us, how you got it, and uh, why they call you it? Uh, yeah, I just um, – when I was in high school, I was short, short kid who couldn't – I mean, didn't really catch any eyes when I was going to football camps. And so I just wore this USPS hat one time um, just as a, as a quirky little thing. And – then I won the camp, and one of my friends, DJ Dallas, um, who's on the Seahawks now, um, he just tagged me on an Instagram post and said, mailman, and then it just kind of carried on from there. And then I guess these guys picked up on it recently. Stetson, obviously, aside from that uh, fumble early on in the game, you guys were able to keep the turnovers to a minimum. You know, you weren't picked off today. As we get deeper into the season, just talk about how important it is to make sure that, you know, you don't turn the ball over when we're looking at Alabama coming up and the rest of the SEC schedule that's going to be pretty right. Yeah, I think it's a pride thing because um, we know every defense – we know our defense goes into the week. How are we going to create havoc? How are we going to get people to turn the ball over? And, and, and we're like, well, we can't go get the ball from somebody, but we sure as heck can make sure that they don't get it from us. And, yeah, the, the snap, the, uh, the, the fumble we had at the beginning was unfortunate. And then uh, I know Kendall's beating himself up about that last fumble. I know he wanted to get in the end zone. Um, but, yeah, it's just a, it's a pride thing. And, I mean, don't throw any picks and, and don't fumble the ball. And, and, and we've got a good chance to win the ball game. I don't have time for one last question. We'll go to Jeff Schultz. 
Justice and kind of along those lines, I mean, we've spent a lot of time in this interview talking about, you know, some things that have gone wrong, whether it was the turnover drivers that were turned into field goals, the fumble early, a couple other situations. You guys have won three games pretty handily. What does that tell you about the potential and upside of this? I'm sorry, I didn't uh, catch that. It kind of was breaking up. Uh, we've spent a lot of time in this interview talking about, you know, some things that, have, that went wrong in this game. Um, you know, the early turnovers that were converted to field goals and a few other drives and really turnover. I mean, you guys ended up winning three games pretty handily. But what does that tell you about the potential upside of your team? Yeah, I mean, first of all, we beat a really good team in Tennessee. Um, and then we do all those, 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 those things wrong, and then we still – um, I think we covered tonight, so that's good. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's exciting because there's, there's no telling what we could do if we just clean up the little things. And, that, and that's all it takes, just clean up the little things and ju then just play football the way we know how to. And actually, we may have time for one or two more questions, so uh, let's just keep going. Hey, Stetson, uh, I've noticed that you guys have a lot more comfort uh, and success throwing the ball over the middle this year than it seems in years past. Uh, what do you attribute that to? Uh, just, I don't know. I can't really speak on the years past, but I just trust those guys going over the middle. Um, I know they'll go up and make plays for me. Um, Coach Munkin draws up great plays and calls them in the right, right area. And I don't know. It's a big part of the field that we want to be able to take advantage of. Look like Jeff Schultz had another question. Jeff, you want to fire away real quick? Sorry, Mike, I lost you. No, yeah, Stetson, I was going to – the whole covered thing you covered tonight. I'm sorry, can you explain that to me? <laughs> <laughs> I just heard some guys talking about it in the stands. It just it trickled down to my ear. So. Right, right. I just yeah. didn't know – And we'll end with that question right there. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that one.